Hello and welcome to another episode. It's March the 31st, 2025, and surprisingly, Kian Hyundai have, have released the EU Maps and Infotainment for the CCNC uh, head unit cars. So if it's a Kia, that means the EV3, the facelifted EV6, and the EV9. If you've got a Hyundai, then it's going to be the most recent Kona and the facelifted Ionic 5 at the moment. Okay, in case you're new to updating Kias or Hyundai's, um, you need to go to the update site to download the Kia Navigator Updater program, and you'll need a PC or, or a Mac to do this. So if you go to update.kia.com and select the correct region, Currently, it defaults to USA, so you want Europe. And then you'll see the notifications 31st of March 2025. And that's got a full list of release notes and what's new. But I'll cover that in the following episode. To download the navigation updater, um, you press navigation updater download and select whether you want Windows or Mac. And that's how you install it on the PC. Uh, that takes a while to install. And once that's updated and running and working, uh, you open it again, and then you select your vehicle. In this case, the EV3. Uh, once that's installed, double click and open it. It'll probably do an update now. Okay, if the program has an update available, it will automatically update the installation files. So they're doing that because they've just released the new CCNC for the EU and the UK, and that covers the EV3, the facelifted EV6, and the EV9, and any other CCNC head units. This works for Hyundai and also for Genesis, this method. So I'll come back to it when it's finished. Okay, now it's, uh, it's downloaded the new installation files and you can see it says March 2025 navigation for CCNC. And then I select my flash drive, um, which is drive G, which I've already inserted. And that's got to get wiped. You must let this format it, otherwise it won't work when it gets to the car. Right, so click next. Wait a minute, I don't want that. I don't want an EV6. <laughs> it still thinks I'm an EV6. Hold on a sec. This is the first update I've downloaded since I've changed. So pick your car. There we go. And select Drive G, where it's going to store the stuff. And confirm station and portable. And it's going to format it, which you need to do. I wouldn't mess around formatting yourself. Uh, because people end up with it not running. Continue. All that's on there is the previous uh, EB6 one from January, which was PC's doing it now, but it's just slow. There we go. Then it takes probably an hour or so to download and then it, has, it takes a while to decompress and to spit the files onto the USB drive. So um, all you have to do now is wait. I found that if you plug your laptop or PC directly into your router, it's quicker than Wi-Fi. So that's a, a tip I use. So I'll come back to this later. Okay, we've been going about half an hour and I've only got like 38 megabit download broadband, so not the fastest broadband, but I'm hoping to get it upgraded soon. And we're on 18%, um, so I'll come back in a bit. As you can see, it's 21,000 out of 26,000 megabytes. Um, so that remaining percentage is actually decompressing the files it's downloaded and then writing to the SD card or the, or the USB stick or whatever you've got as a data storage device. 
Right, it's 11.08 UK time. It started downloading creating files at 9.22, even though I started it before it was updating system files. Um, it's done the initial download, and now it's, it's unpacking the zip files and copying them to the USB. And that started doing that at 61%. So that 40% of this progress bar is copying and unpacking files and creating the USB drive. So I'll come back to this when it's finished. We've got to walk the dog in between. So let's try and figure out when it exactly stopped. Okay, it's finished updating. Now I can see by looking at uh, the, the drive, what time it finished writing files. I think um, the text file that's got modified at 11.43. So it's taken from 9.25 to 11.43. So maybe getting towards two and a half hours. And then this is a, an eight core, eight gigabytes um, PC, which is, is getting on a bit now, but it was good at the time. Um, and my slow broadband. Anyway, um, before you do anything else, click on OK. That's a bit slow. Um, and this will ask if you want to clean up any downloaded files at the end, and um, we should say yes. Right. And then you've got the option of close the program after deleting temporary files, which is what I want to do. So I'll do that. And close program now. Right. Now, the next thing you want to do is close any open windows if you've got anything open um, to do with what you've just downloaded. Okay, when you close the navigator program down, you've got to dismount the USB drive um, so that it's finished flushing out files and writing the files to the USB drive. If you don't do that, then the update won't work and you'll have to do it all again. Um, so if you go to the system tray on Windows 10, pop that up there, and then go to the USB symbol, safety remove hardware and inject media that. And then we're going to eject the sand disk. And it'll confirm it. you okay to dismount it. See, it's gone now. Yeah. And then you can pull the drive out. And only once you've dismounted it, you can pull the drive out. Anyway, I've, I've, I've recorded and documented everything I did uh, for people who've never done this before, uh, especially those with the EV3, which are new to Kias and Hyundais. Hyundais, I'll get it right one lifetime in my life. Um, I've got a USB-A type memory stick, which I've, I've put the data on, which uh, I've shown you in the previous steps. And um, the car's all USB-C now, so you'll need one of these Amazon basic USB-C to USB-A adapters. So plug that in there. I won't plug it in yet though. Right, before I run this update, I'm gonna put the car in utility mode. So the car is on and ready. And when it goes into utility mode, it will be on, but you won't be able to drive it, which is a safety feature to stop it getting stolen. So I'm gonna go into the EV menu. It's on my first screen on my car, but it may be a stroke across if you've got to find it. And then set settings, then utility mode, and, and then activate utility mode. I'm not going to dim the interior lighting. Um, if you look at the main cluster display, you'll see utility mode there and at the top there. And now I'm going to plug in my USB stick. And hopefully, there it is. It says press start, start copying the latest software. You'll be notified when the installation is ready to start. Please do not remove the USB drive. So start. Uh, notice it's it's running the update in the corner in a kind of silent fashion. So uh, you can drive around while it's doing the update or doing part of the update is copying files across to the head unit, basically. Um, it'll do the final update at the end, 
but I'm, I'm just, because I'm recording this, I'm doing it this way. So I'm going to uh, leave the car, lock the car, and uh, with Cure Connect, and then come back to it later. Just keep an eye on it. I'm going to manually dim the screen as well. So um, I'll stroke down. Uh, brightness. That's it, done. Right, I'm back at the car after 45 minutes of the update running. Um, you can just turn the car off and leave it to it, but I think when I get back in the car, it's gonna ask me to restart the car. Uh, if I remember right from what happened with the EV9 um, in January 24 or February 24. Anyway, let's see what's in the car. Right, I've got the physical key in my pocket and if you press the touchpad to get back in. There we go. Still says the update's running, so I uh, don't know if I can. Let's brighten this. Don't know if I can go somewhere to look. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Um, that's, if I press and held setup and that goes straight to the software info update screen. Um, and that has some mini uh, release notes there in the corner and the version number that you go into. It mentions Netflix and YouTube. Well, we'll see what turns up. Um, I'll do that in a separate video though. This is just how to get the thing on the car in the first place. So, uh, Yeah, lots of release notes. In the background is probably um, copying files from the USB stick across into the internal memory of the head unit, which is the maps and infotainment unit, or the AVNT, or whatever they call it in Kia speak. Um, so we've just got to wait for it to finish that. If I had a faster access or direct USB stick, it would probably do this quicker. But because I'm doing the conversion from USB A to USB C, it's probably taking longer. And to say it's 10 past two now, and I started at quarter past one. Anyway, um, I'll lock the car again with Kia Connect and come back to it. And I'll dim the screen. In theory, I should get a Kia Connect alert saying it's finished or, or it might ask me to restart at the end. But uh, I'll come back to it. Right, I'm back in the car. It's nearly two hours later after I first inserted the USB stick. The update symbol's gone from the top there. And if I press and hold setup, it says updates are in progress, ready to install the infotainment software. Um, this hasn't asked me to turn the car off. Um, so I wonder if I've got to turn the car off. So I'm going to turn that off now. When you select update now, the screen will turn off and the infotainment system update will start. The infotainment system will turn off automatically after the update. Update now. Right. So that obviously is the next stage. You get stuck there with no prompt. But if I left it in auto, auto mode with the car off, it, it, I think it maybe just would have done it well, without testing. I don't know for sure. Right, I just had a message on the phone saying infotainment system where update completed. So does that mean I turn it on? It's working now. Let's see. I'll pull the USB stick out anyway. Anyway, that's done with that. And it's, it said, that's a new welcome screen, I think. So if I press and hold the setup, I should see the version number. Oh, I've got YouTube. Yes. Updated today. And the software version is 2501. 
24. So that's the 24th of January 2025. And the maps version is Euro 17.50, which is up from the previous version I mentioned, which was previous version was Euro 16.48. Anyway, um, this video was created for you new EV3 users out there who've never updated a Kia or Hyundai before. Um, I hope you found it useful. Um, any questions, just uh, mention it in the comments. But I'll just summarize what you do again. Um, you go to update.kia.com or update.hyundai.com or update.genesis.com. That covers all three brands. You select your country code. If you've not downloaded any updates before, you've got to go and download the navigation up data. You'll need a PC or a Mac to do this. You'll need about 100 gigabytes of free disk space to do this. You'll need a 64 gigabyte USB stick to do this. Why is the screen wobbling? Isn't that bonkers? <laughs> Once you've downloaded the updater, you run the updater and you select your vehicle. Um, so in this case, it's the EV3 or the EV9 or the facelifted EV6 or the Kona or the Ionic 5. All those have got the CCNC head unit currently and more are coming along. And then that downloads the files to the USB stick and it takes a couple of hours to do that on my slow PC and internet setup. And then it's policy to close down the navigation update program and clean out all temporary files and then do a dismount of your drive and then pull the drive. Otherwise you end up with a corrupted uh, copy on the drive and it won't work in the car. Then you go out to the car, um, you turn the car on. Um, if you want to watch it do it, put it in utility mode and start it running. And then you can dim the screens and you can lock the door with your Kia Connect. If you don't want to see it running and you're happy to just leave it running in the background, simply just leave it running and turn the car off and it should complete on its own. Simple as that. Uh, in my case, it got to the end and I had to turn the car off and back on. It didn't ask me to do that, but that's how it, uh, the image was across. It just needed a reboot of the head unit, which you achieve by turning the car off and back on. And that's it. And then I've got all my new features. Anyway, hope you found it useful. Thank you for watching.